All right, guys, how's everybody doing today? Kid Nothing here. And today we are back on Volt White 2. This is part 13, everybody. So in the last episode, we defeated Elisa, the Nimbasa City gym leader. Pretty convincingly, I'd say. I don't think we didn't die. Yeah, we didn't die once. So, yeah, that's a that's a W in my book. Our team is looking pretty good. We got Ronan at the highest level at level 46. And then the rest of them are like 36, 38 ish. And in this episode, we're basically heading towards. I don't know what that was. We're basically heading towards Driftville City. So, yeah, we just got across this dumb ad bridge. Oh, yeah. And there's encounters here and items. Why does it feel like I have delay in my controller? Probably tripping. I could have sworn there were encounters on this bridge. Let me turn the volume up a little bit for you guys. Because it sounded kind of low in the last video. All right, we are here in Driftville City, everybody. Home to the fifth gym leader. Who should be a cakewalk, but hey, we don't, you never know. Also, the next Hoenn gym leader should be somewhere around here. Come on. What is this inception? We got the old plasma grunt with the new plasma grunt. He's getting bullied. I don't remember this. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but I don't remember this. Okay, he's X team plasma, but for some reason he still has the old outfit I guess then we got huge anus who I think appeared in the last episode we don't care about this plot stuff we really don't oh yeah you can also get Zorark in the original game you get a Zora I think in Driftville City so not sure if that's in this game but whoa Driftville City looks hella different I do not remember these buildings what is this? Bro, I, I, I actually don't remember this shit at all. This must be new to black and white too. I'm telling you guys, it's been way too long. Driftville City do got that music though. If you don't know the Driftville City music, I don't know. You're different. There's just something wrong with you. We got Charles over here. After we shit on him last episode, he he moved all the way to Driftville City to motorcycle in the snow for some reason. Okay, I remember this. We got incenses here. Pretty useless. That Charles guy took everything I had. Damn. Oh, we got some Moo Moo milk. How much does that even heal? Is that 80? I don't know. That dude's talking about nonsense. And this dude's gonna give us an expert belt. Don't know what that does. Slightly boosted, some blah blah blah. Alright, let's get on with the game, man. Screw the shops. I do want to see if anybody got like some dope items though, but is that the boy Norman? We got Norman here, everybody, the next Hoenn gym leader that we will have to eventually face. However, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. And that's Twist Mountain, which leads us to Skyla, I think. No, Twist Mountain is to um, the ice gym leader. Okay, so I kind of remember this. I think this is how you get Zora. Cause that's one of like the old sages. There used to be like sages in Team Plasma or something. Oh, we gotta battle them. All right, bet. But yeah, there used to be I think like seven or six sages, and I think you can find all of them in Black and White too. I think it's end game stuff though. But I think once you find them all, you get something. I don't know. I don't play end game in my Pokemon games. I just never was really interested. I just try to. Get to the Elite Four, beat their asses, and then I'm basically done with the game at that point. I don't really do competitive battling either, which is why, probably why I'm so trash at this game. 
most of the time. But yeah, I gotta remember, I think Yopper is a physical... He might be special attacker, because I think I thought he was physical, but he's special. We are getting effed up right now, but we do get the static, so we might be able to... We might get another turn after this Electro Ball. Alright, doesn't even matter, we took it out. Tachi getting some levels. Bufalant coming out. Let me switch to Blaziken. Wait. Yeah, okay, we have one fighting type move on Blaziken. Not that great, but hey, it's something. I'm liking how our team is looking right now. Besides Murkrow, obviously. But again, I need to be able to fly. That is kind of essential. He has Earthquake. What the hell, man? Do Bufalant. Wait. Bro, don't tell me Dragon. And I get hit by hail. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't tell me Drayano switched your type in the ground, bro. I swear. I feel like he might have. Because, yeah. Again, I think I said this in a previous episode, but he did switch the typing on a lot of Pokemon. So he, he could have very well switched Bufalon to be a ground type. Because, you know, originally it was a normal type. Which, hey, I'd say ground type does fit Bufalon. But yeah, that's another reason why Nuzlocke in this game would be really stupid. Like you're gonna have to somehow, somehow like be able to tell or figure out. And I just got hit with an energy ball. That wasn't even stab, and I died from it. God damn it, Dusty. Dusty should be evolving soon, though. Probably in like two or three episodes, we'll hopefully have a Tyranitar finally. Then he'll be putting in some work. But I'm done playing games. Let's just get Ronin out here to one shot some shit should not be losing my team to fodder i mean this guy's kind of not fodder i mean he was kind of at the top of team plasma but you know what i mean all right being former team plasma blah 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 and that is yeah it's huge anus gonna go inside with this old man because pokemon love old men and then here is where we should get the zora and yeah, I'm skipping through all this dialogue. Let me super speed this dialogue. Again, I tell you guys, super speed is a blessing. Bro, stop tripping about this purloin. Just catch another one and say it's the same one. I don't have any room. Crap. So yes, you do still get the Zora. That is great. Will I use it? I don't think so, because I really want to use Murkrow. But again, it's going to be a minute before it evolves. They could have put Norman in here, but no, they put that man outside. He's freezing his ass off too. It's like hailing and shit. I don't know who those two girls are. Don't know. Yeah, I, I have no idea who you guys are. But yeah, X-Team Plasma, they just chilling out even though they were on some villainous shit back in the day somehow they didn't get arrested you know they escaped the feds and they're just chilling out here in driftville city and nobody really gives a crap also n and getses i think are walking around free as well so you know pokemon cops kind of suck all right what is this building Again, I'm just really looking for items. They could have put Norman in here too. Like, what the hell? Why do you gotta put my man's outside? All right, you're not getting that. Sorry, not sorry. We, we gotta go to the cooler box or whatever. I think if that's in this game, I remember that part. We have to do that before we can even fight Clay. And I have no idea where the Pokemart is, but let's go down here. We got the feds. Tell me these guys don't look like FBI agents. What is on? Come on. This is the Pokemon World Tournament area? I don't remember this at all, man. That was also a really cool feature, though. People kind of sleep on it, but the Pokemon World Tournament feature was actually pretty badass. You got to fight so many enemies. It's like basically a boss rush. I don't think we go this way. This is Driftville City, so where the hell is the gym? It's gotta be over here. Yeah, it is. Where's the cooler area? Do we just fight Clay in this? So I can just straight up fight this man? That's new. I 
I don't know if I want to do that yet. Maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe we'll like clear out the fodder and then battle him next episode. But I do kind of want to fight Norman if that's the case. Because again, I'm, I keep thinking about black and white. I know black and white pretty well. I don't know this game well, obviously at all. But in black and white, you have to go through this like cooler freeze box side quest thing. And then you could fight Clay. In this game, they just like, uh, Clay, your storyline's over, bro. You don't get any dialogue. You're just a boss. We're just going to make you the gym leader. You know, you get no dialogue, no nothing. Really, no storyline. You're not connected to the story at all. So, yeah, that's what they did in this game. But I guess we could fight Norman right here. Switching Blaziken up front. You're going to be the next man we train off, so... Also, I have no idea what the gap's going to be for Clay and Elisa, because Elisa was like, what, 33, 35-ish? Clay could be 40s, and I am definitely not at that level. And Norman over here is at 37, so it's going to be an uphill battle, to say the least. I'm also going to check the grass to see what Pokemon are there, because again, we just did a gym battle. It'd be kind of weird to do bad-to-bad -bad gym battles in episodes. I don't mind it really, but God, did this Vigoroth just hit me with an earthquake, man? Drayana, you are a piece of crap, man. What is with you, man? Why does this thing have an earthquake? Oh shit, what? Okay, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I was not thinking at all. I was like, hmm, let me switch to Yopper. Hey, he did live, for the record. I'm going to go for an Electro Ball because I don't care about my life or Yopper's life. I don't really care about it. And yeah, that's not going to kill. Dude, what is this thing's defense? It's not even fully evolved. And it's tanking shit. So yeah, I expect I kind of expected this to be a pretty dumb battle because I'm switching to Ronin. I expected this to be a pretty dumb battle because just looking at the way Drayana decides to give certain Pokemon different moves, and this dude's a normal type, so he probably has a plethora of different type moves. So I don't know what he's going to throw at me. While his white, with the other ones, they were all like a specific type, given Watson did have Flamethrower for some fucking reason. But they were kind of like in a certain field of types, you know. But normal, they can like learn almost anything. Learning Faint Attack here. What does Faint Attack even do? It hits without fail. That doesn't sound horrible. Goodbye, Taunt. Drill Pack. Ooh. Okay, this is a good buff. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Faint Attack. Wait, hold on. If the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack power is doubled. I don't know what that means. Is Assurance better than Faint Attack? Uh, well, I could get rid of Wing Attack. Yeah, I could get rid of Wing Attack. What am I doing? Yeah, we're getting rid of Wing Attack. We're going to learn Fly anyway, which is like, what, 80 power, I think? I want to say it's like 80 power, probably higher. Leon? Leon? Lot? Lie noon? I don't know. <laughs> Let me just stop. Belly drum. Alright, what kind of shenanigans are you about to do? Oh, you just want to raise your attack so I can kill you easier. Okay, that makes sense. Good NPC. Slacking. Okay, I'm a little bit scared of that, but hey, Ronin, you might have to just carry straight up. Because I feel like if I put Blaziken in here, I'm going to get shit on. Giga Impact. That might F me up. Holy shit, dude. What does this thing have? Hyper Beam too? <laughs> Ronin's a god. Yeah, Ronin is a fighting type, so I have Stab. And, you know, Sacred Sword's already a <laughs> hella ridiculous move. I'll just let Ronin fight until he drops. And then hopefully Blaziken can clean up, but I don't know. Blaziken can be slow sometimes. I don't even think it's going to be a challenge, though. Ronan is just... The man it eats up, alright? Kecleon. 
Shit, man. I really want to let... Let me let somebody else get some playtime. Oh, yeah, the level cap. I forgot what it was. I'd have to look back at last episode. But, yeah, we definitely don't need Ronin outgrowing the level cap because he's going to be essential in the next gym. So is Big Root over here. Let's go for... Let's go for Earthquake. Fake out. You have a berry. Oh, no, you have a normal gem. Am I going to flinch? Yeah, of course I'm going to flinch. Come on, Big Root. Don't let me down like this. I think this is his last. So, Norman's not too difficult. I wish Blaziken had a good fighting type move, then I could grind him up off this. But, yeah, this is his last mon. Alright. Kecleon. Very weird choice. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought he was going to pull out a hyper beam or some bullshit. But nope. Norman was a cakewalk. Definitely probably the easiest one, actually. He's talking about Brendan. His kid is in Hoenn or some shit. He's a deadbeat dad. As you guys probably already know if you played <laughs> Sapphire Emerald. Why does the music sound different? Am I tripping? All right. So we did beat Norman pretty convincingly. That is, that's, that's good. Now then, I kind of want to check the grass to the left to see what kind of encounters we get. Because, hey, you, you never know. Maybe I'll find something that's better than Murkrow that I might want to add to my team. Dude, that was a long-ass pause. I don't know what happened right there. Okay, we got some ice types over here. Probably for Skyla to deal with her. Don't know how ridiculous she's gonna be. I'm kind of scared of her. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have anything to deal with it except Yopper, and I still don't know how to evolve him. All right, guys. So I didn't really find anything too different except Snover, and I found Deerling and Bonsly, which, yeah, I'm not copping those at all. So we're just gonna go to the gym and take out the fodder, and then that'll probably be the episode. Hey, I like that music. Oh yeah, they redesigned the gym in this game. Looks a lot less ugly. Guys, I am hungry. I might have to order some pizza or something. Aniba is hungry. Clay uses ground types. No way. I did not realize that. Let's switch Big Root to the front. I'm expecting... Big things from you, big roots. Do not let me down. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I don't remember it being dark. All right, so with the fifth gym. We got ourselves a little worker. No oh, Jesus Christ, five mons, though? That's a little ridiculous. Hopefully, big root, you know, can just one shot everything. This may be a long episode, honestly. Unless I edit out the battles. But if they each have five mine, that's gonna be stupid. Come on, Big Root, please survive this self-destruct. You're a tank. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Only 20 damage? Easy, come on. Dude, sending out a fucking Geo, dude. Alright, man. You probably have sturdy as well. What is Clay gonna have, man? I feel like he's gonna have rock types and ground types. Oh, so you're that guy. You're that kind of guy. I see you, Noel. Never trust Noel. People named Noel, all right? Is your cube on gonna explode as well? Hey, no Andreano would not be surprised. This cube on just self-destructs. Bro, how did you live? There's there, there is no reason you should be alive. That animation looks so fucking weird. Going for the razor leaf. Change it up a little bit. Get out of here, Cubone. I should be one-shotting everything. This makes no sense. Is razor leaf physical or special? Maybe that's why. A diglet. Okay, this thing could explode on me. It's very Final gambit. Even worse. Come on, man. What is this game? 
Adriano, you're childish. <laughs> you're so childish for that. They all got these self-destruct moves. If this thing has final game, it, I'm gonna die. Because that did a hell of damage. Alright, finally, we one-shotted something. That was a childish ass battle. <laughs> I thought the final gambit would kill me. I'm gonna heal this man up. Where are my potions? They are here, all right. But yeah, I think after I record this, I am definitely probably gonna get some goddamn pizza. I'm starving. Alright, this puzzle looking pretty brain dead easy. We're going up against what, the second trainer? Can you not have five Pokemon? That would be great. And can they also not explode? Alright, four. Marsh Tomp. See, this is what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of the Marsh Tomps in um, Seisma Toad he probably has because they are water and ground types. Luckily, I do have Big Root, so it's four times super effective, but if Big Root somehow did die, yeah, I'd be kind of screwed. Tachi gonna get another level. I'm probably gonna have to take that, um, probably take the EXP share off of him. He's sending out Pylo Swine, so I'm gonna send in Big Root. He might have changed this to a ground type, ice ground type. We're gonna go for the Blaze Kick. Hell yeah. Super effective. The homie Popeye sitting at level 37. Quagsire, alright, we're going back to Big Root. You did well, Popeyes. You did well. Quagsire. And we're about to get to level 39. You love to see it. Quagsire is such a derpy Pokemon. I love it, though. Focus Blast. Hmm. You shouldn't have that. <laughs> but, hey. Don't even matter, because you're done. There's just so many derpy-looking Pokemon in Pokemon. Synthesis. That's kind of a decent move, but... I think I'm going to just keep Leech Life, because Leech Life do become an ink clutch sometimes. Gligar, that's not a fucking... Wait, is that a ground type? I don't know. I think it's a flying type as well, so let's send in Yapper. He may be a ground type, and I might be stupid and then die. Okay, he's a ground flying type, I guess. Back to the lab again. Who should we send out? Dusty? Question mark? Send out Ronan. Because I'm not trying to get hit with acrobatics on Big Root. Rock slide. We eat those for breakfast, alright? <laughs> didn't, didn't know if you knew that, but yeah. Aqua Tail, get him out of here. And that's gonna one shot. Wow. All right. He's done. Ronin too strong. All right. Let's go to the right over here. Don't know what this does. What the hell just happened? What was that for? I guess so you can see the way? I don't know. We're just gonna... Can you, like, skip the trainers and just... Oh, well, I went the wrong way. Hey, the more battles, the better. Let's be honest. Go let. What is it? Go, that's a ground type? Oh yeah, he's a ground ghost type, I remember. Let's a very good Pokemon. Like, design-wise, like I feel like him and his evolution were pretty well done. I like the typing. 
gastrodon. I have no idea. Oh, wait, I do. I don't know what this thing is. It's another water ground type. There is a lot of you guys. You guys are pretty prominent. Water ground types. That didn't one shot. Alright. Sludge wave. That's not good. I don't think it'll one shot though. Of course not. Big Root's too good. Too powerful. Too big. Nah, but if I get hit with an overheat, he'd be done. <laughs> Only an overheat could take him out. Vibrava. Uh, that is a flying type. Right? Should I stay in? Nah. Let's try to rock slide it to death. What level does... What's his name? Evolve. What is this Pokemon called? I forgot. Pupitar. When does this thing evolve? Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of looking at it. It's so ugly. It looks like a... It's just a cocoon. It's just... Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this was like Cascoon's Mega Evolution or some shit. It's just a very weird design. Like, I get it's like supposed to be Larvitar's like center or whatever. Don't understand how that evolution works at all though. But it's very weird. But yeah, we won the Battle of Endurance, the Rock Slide. We were gonna take the dub against whatever that dude's name was. So he said Clay is close. So I guess that's good. Let's go Dishway. I still don't get what this does. Yeah, it must let you just look to see if you're on the right track. Kinda useless, but I. Uh, I'm assuming he's towards the center, you know? Like this way. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Here in the darkness, blah blah blah. You didn't give us a hint? Come on, man. This is the third trainer. Okay, he only has one. And it's a glide score. God damn it, man. Why can't you just let Big Root be great? Now I'm gonna get hit with acrobatics or some shit and die. Even worse, an ice fang. So yeah, that does nothing. Good to know. Why does Gliscor look like a vampire, dude? <laughs> like, I fuck with it, but it's like, it's very weird. Now that I'm looking at it in 5th gen animation, or the 5th gen sprite, it looks like a vampire. Like some kind of va vampire with crab claws. I don't know. <laughs> so, water is super effective, but not grass, because he's a flying type, I guess. Got it. And Ronan's about to get another level, which is not exactly a good thing. So I can't go on these purple elevators. I have to live stream one of these days. It'll probably have to be at night time so I don't get interrupted by my pedants. I want to live stream something. Probably Persona 5, maybe some chill. Maybe Smash, who knows. But I do really want to start live streaming, probably on YouTube. Then eventually, maybe when I get more subs, I'll live stream on Twitch. Because, you know, that's a commitment in itself to be start live streaming on twitch like i'd rather not be interrupted and crap like that i don't know what i meant by that like i you can get forget i said that right <laughs> but yeah i'd have to live stream probably at nighttime, which a lot of people probably won't be up <laughs> By the time I can live stream, it'd either be hella early or hella late. Or, yeah. Risk getting interrupted. Dude has an Onyx and a Marowak. Seems like the, the trainers are getting progressively stronger in upgrading. <laughs> we had a Geodude and a Cubone. Now we got a Marowak, a Gliscor. We had a Gligar. We got a Steelix now. 
Dude, I like Steelix a lot. Don't ask me why, but I just really F with Steelix. Is he a ground type? I thought he was just Steel. Like, I just think Steelix is dope. Like, if I... I mean, he's he's hella creepy, don't get me wrong. Like, if you guys seen his sprite, what his sprite used to look like, shit, dude, it's hella creepy. I also really love Golem. Maybe I'm a Gen 1-er at heart, even though Steelix isn't a Gen 1 Pokemon. But Golem and Steelix are my boys. But like I was saying, Steelix, you know, hella creepy, but hey, if Pokemon was real, I'd want a Steelix. I know that thing would be big as hell, too. Like, I'm talking, if it fell on you, yeah, you're done. But hey, it's the Pokemon world, so you don't really get injured like that. Steamroller flinched me, huh? In what world? Alright, Big Root's going down, that's fine, you know. He did good. But yeah, I fuck with Golem a lot, don't don't ask me why. Not Alolan Golem, this Golem. Don't give me that Alolan crap. Where he has like a, does he have like a, I don't even know what it's called. A railgun type weird thing on top of him. I haven't played Sun and Moon, but I've seen Alolan, some of the Alolans. Very weird, you know. I think I, I think I prefer the Galarian forms to the Alolan, except um Nine Tails. That one was dope. Oh, okay, so I was able to go on that one. Dude, where the hell is this man Clay at then? Is he right there? Am I dumb? Okay, so yeah, that's what the elevator's for. So you're telling me he's to the left of me. Is this the way out? What the heck is going on? This is a pretty big, elaborate gym. I didn't think it was this big. Pause. What? Damn. Dude, this sounds like some Donkey Kong music. Definitely, well, I don't think this is the music in Black and White 1. Well, you guys can see me be stupid and fail this puzzle. And Super Speed kicking in right now to come in clutch and help me out. I know you're there somewhere, Clay. I'm not even battling you in this episode, so you don't gotta be scared. We're going on a damn near 40 minutes, but when I edit it down, it'll probably be like 30, hopefully, 20 something. Something around there. But yeah, I'm 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 botting out right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like I I've gone to most of these areas already. He's got to be towards the top. There's like almost no way they would have had you go anywhere else. He's probably on one of those purple treadmills. That's definitely a possibility. This is a new trainer. All right, man. This is number four. There's probably like five in here. Numero four, worker. I don't know. Bro, these trainers got some strong ass looking Pokemon like I see y'all I'm seeing the progression I don't remember Elisa's um trainers at all yeah we're probably gonna get one shot right here of course this thing has ice beam why not you know why not totally makes sense for a ground type to, and a poison type to have ice beam when ice is super effective to their type like yeah I would have known that 100% yeah, our team's looking pretty bad, too. I know Murkrow's gonna get one shot by anything that it tries to fight. So, Ronan, you're gonna carry again. I know you're pretty much used to it at this point, though. It's so weird having a Samurai at the 5th gym. Or no, I had a Samurai at the 4th gym. That is not normal, guys. Usually, I don't think you get Samurai in the 3rd at Evos to, like, Skyla, which is the next gym. But yeah, Drayana got our work cut out for us. And of course he has a Needle Queen as well. Needle Queen Sprite does not look as, nearly as badass as Needle King's. It has like a bra going on. It's a little weird. Gonna take it out though. He 
you had a nice squad on you. I haven't seen one Excalibur now that he brings it up, or Drillbur. Ex wait no, it's Excadrill. Why did I just say Excalibur? What the f bro, what is going on with me today? I'm tripping out. Excadrill. I haven't seen one Excadrill or Drillbur. Wow, the gym was Oh, I thought that was clay. I was like, bro, it was that easy. It's gotta be close. It's definitely gotta be something to deal with these purple escalators. Yeah, he's right here. God damn it, Clay. Well, I gotta heal up, but hey, let's just go back. Let's let's stand by my mans right here. And all right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'm heading out. Have a good one.